Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of How to Make How I Met Your Mother. Um we are playing Dead Cells. We are gonna do just killing stuff with swords again, which is fun and interesting, and hopefully we can actually start getting somewhere. This is not my favourite sword, but it is really doing a lot of damage, so I'm gonna stick with it. In the previous episode, I think what we did wrong was sticking with that torch. It was good for a while to have the fire. Doubly so because we had a uh, fire synergy, but I think we got rid of that. And when we got rid of the fire synergy, we stopped using the fire. Although we did make proper use of our um, our actual uh, skills for once in my life. So it's not the best amulet, by the way, that I just picked up. But it's better than no amulet, so I'm going to keep it. This is uh, the one where you get gold. Damage you take is inflicted on the enemy. And I just figured it might be the one where... Good start. You Why? <laughs> Why is everything mean to me? We might have to uh, do two runs in this episode because I am bad. So someone teach me how to do this. Yeah, you see. When I discovered a while ago that you could just roll in midair, I thought, oh, that's amazing. It's going to be really useful. No, it's not. It turns out it sucks. That was <laughs> I just jumped. Don't even worry about it. I just jumped into the thing. That was terrible. Um, but we need to practice that. That is the one thing that I think I still need to continue to practice, even though um, it's not... Why did you roll into... So what is this whip? I thought the whip ignores shields, right? Uh, I don't really like that. <laughs> it does not interest me. Because it's bad. Um, ignore shields, woo yay, hoopla, I don't care. Um, there's not that many shields. And when there are shields, I'm going to have changed it. I prefer the whip that does at least some crits at the end of its, um, I was going to say the end of its tether, <laughs> not what I meant, uh, at the end of its range, but oh, whatever. Let us move on. No. We want to find the treasure and see if it will replace this whip, because if it does, we that's what we want. If it doesn't, then it might be something we do want, because we don't have any skills yet. Just ignore everything. Go back. And here. There must be treasure up here somewhere. Roll. So there's a lot to be said for actually killing things that are going to be attacking you while you're trying to do stuff. Oh, actually, this was worth it for different reasons. There's a kebab up. Pretty alright. Huh? Again, I'm not really worried about the time door. I just want to find everything to make sure we have the best opportunity we can. We got two grenades out of this little sujourn, so it's not too bad, is it? And we can probably get to the time door anyway, because I'm not bothered about that kebab. It's not like anyone's counting score. Right, I think. We don't have to go to the abandoned sewers. The toxic sewers are kind of okay, especially if you've got a weapon you can deal with, which I don't, but it's better than most of the weapons we've been trying, which have actually been shields. Um... Yeah, stop being chatting and get on with it. Again, we could end up with some boots or something, so you never know if it's going to be another um, experimental episode, but I'm just going to keep trying. We do have two grenades. We could we could do a lot with grenades. <coughs> Excuse me, this is looking already to be like a... Um, a full red build, I think. Let's see what we end up with. Uh, we don't want to... Oh, yeah, good. good try. Nice. We don't want to stick with the slow weapon I'm not very good with. But we do want to replace it with another red weapon, so we should do so. That is fine. Again, I'd like to get that backstabby one or the triple stabby daggers. And I'm also going to... Be a little bit more, uh... yeah, nice. I'm gonna say a little bit more prodigious, ignoring enemies. The only reason I attacked that one is I thought it was gonna be a problem for me. There's no reason for that one to be a problem for you. Stop messing around. Uh, I seem to be sort of taking attacks of opportunity. You know, if there's an enemy that I think I can deal with easily, I'm trying to. But then they always seem to somehow, you know, <laughs> change my mind on that. Whoa. This one I cannot hit. There we go. 
kept biting me when I was trying to stab it, which is pretty rude. You know, just sit down and let a man stab you. What do we say to the god of death? Alright, you got me. Honestly, the cooldown on these grenades is now so much better that I'm kind of wishing I've been taking this more often. Grenades are really good, which I imagine is why they have such a long cooldown. Which is also why I don't really take them, because I really have... I really want this cooldown skill, right? Ow. I try to roll out of the way, but... I, always, I seem to have a habit of getting myself stuck in an animation that means I can't roll out of the way of stuff. I would like an ice grenade, because that's probably going to really synergize well with this um, weapon with a large wind-up time. It would also be nice if I didn't have to use this vine to get through that gap. <laughs> what do you think? Uh, you know what? We're doing alright with grenades. Let's just keep what we've got. Also not quite sure why that needed to be a, such a dramatic exit to a very simple non-puzzle. It wasn't even a platforming puzzle. It was just a platform. Nice one, game. Cool. So this is better? Yes. Ish. <laughs> I don't understand why the second version of the uh, thingy has the same DPS and things. Right? Shouldn't the better version be better? Apart from just by having a different number on it? No! Too slow to kill those as well, which is annoying. Also, it doesn't interrupt. I'm realising this a little bit late, maybe. It does sometimes. Uh, I want to go... What? You Stop being a plonker. Get up there. See, it's not... What? Grab onto the thing when I do want you to, and don't do it when I don't want you to. This, this is just normal. If you're going to read my mind, get it right. There's actually a... Purple and... Purple and, and, and green, interestingly enough. You know, there are too many of those. A blood sword. That could be better than the blood the broad sword, which cannot be sold. <laughs> um, the reason I think it's a good thingy, because I like bleeding. I like damage over time. And I like being able to hit things before they explode in my face. <laughs> or, you know, bite me. Let's, um, let's get some more survival going on for the HP. Do you know what? Purple's got more HP, so that's why we're going to do that. If the reason is HP, take the biggest HP. So, oh, should we? There's a scroll I've missed. So anyway, the point is, my bite like is running out. <laughs> it's not fair. Okay, it's not fair. I don't want it to run out. This one's going to explode on me as soon as I... I wouldn't mind a, uh, a ranged item. I'm not at all using my whip. Which I guess counts as ranged. Also, what an idiot. You've all probably been fingers on the comments, right? Use the bloody... You know, the whip. Use the whip to damage things that are nearby. I'm going to explode. That doesn't work. Never mind. Not necessary. Not necessary to kill everything. I mean, you can... You see how that's just lame? <laughs> I don't think I need to explain to you much more... You know, there's empirical evidence of how bad that was. Although that did work, so I should have been doing that before, and I've only just realised and that shiny pebble was hardly worth picking up. It's probably what it said. <laughs> but now I can just, like, zap everything with my blood sword, and it dies anyway, so that's fine too. Yikes! That's a yikes from me, Kev. Alright, well, we're getting through this. Maybe I should go to the ramparts because I did really, really badly on the uh, other sewers, even though that was a build that I am actually comfortable with. This one is a little bit less so, so maybe we shouldn't push ourselves. Got to get back into it as well. I have been taking time off, which is, you know, it's allowed. Things have been changing in my life in general. 
like how often I can't cycle home safely. Yeah, so what was it with all them people? That was the whole point of that. It's not Thanksgiving. Because we don't we don't care. <laughs> we have no thanks to give. We're English. You know? We only complain. We don't appreciate. It's against our ethos. It's against our you know, cultural religion. Um and also that's American. We're not doing that. Um did I mean, oh, bash the table. Sounded like it hurt. Didn't hurt. Which, because... I understand that there would be... Because we went to the Chippy. Because they do good pizza, obviously. Uh, and, sure, there's a lot of people in the Chippy at 7 o'clock. Because people want food uh, about lunchtime. Let's, let's have these. Um, and get this grenade unlocked as well. Replace that stupid whip that I hate. I'm not going to upgrade it. Because I don't want to. Bleeding target, perfect. Biters, great. That's fine, I'm happy with that. Oh, let's do this. Uh, bleeding poison or burn, perfect. Right, we've got some, uh, we've got some, 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 some synergy going on. That's what we're after. I want to know why... There was queues and queues of traffic absolutely everywhere. A normal time of day when there's n rarely anybody ooh, excuse me, about. Because I live in a town. You know, a normal town. A small town-ish. It's almost rural. It's just bigger than that. So it doesn't count as rural because it's made... It's a conurbation, so it doesn't count as rural town, right? But Let me find this time door, will you? I'm pretty sure this is certainly not it because... There wouldn't be any fighting between me and the time door. That's what we want to see. Hmm. Let's recycle that and then just swap these around. I do... I do want to replace one of my swords with a ranged weapon, but they haven't seen fit to give me one, although I've probably missed one. Why didn't you roll past the enemy? That's the whole point of the roll. You know? Uh, are we done? Yes, good. There was actually a teleporter down there that I just completely missed, so there you go. Um, in case you were wondering why I didn't do it. If you're forcing my hand like this, I'm gonna just go with HP. Can't um can't use a, a an item that's on cooldown. That's kind of just in the rules. You don't have to even ask twice. It's just right there. Um, I, I don't know why there were that many people. So I was drive cycling home with nothing. Uh, I cycled home with no um. Wow, hold on. What? So many. Attacks all at once. I, I got mind flooded, so I just sort of let it happen. What hit me there? Nice. Um, uh, I wouldn't drive home completely unsafely. Cycle home completely unsafely. That would be silly. I have um, uh, a vest. One of those reflective vests. But I don't wear it because I'm not uncool. I'm not a nerd. God. Um, I strap... <laughs> It goes over my backpack, obviously. I found the time door, it's miles away. There was no way I was reaching it. I wear it over my backpack, so I'm I'm very, very obvious. Let's just do this. Get full health, start again. Pretend that we had that already. Um so cars behind me, provided they had their lights on in the dark, which I'm kinda hoping they would, could see me. It's just that I wasn't, you know, road legal because I didn't have the red light on, but... Uh, long story short, I have to remember to put that on my bike before I go to work, because then I wouldn't have it at all tomorrow. But my real question is, why doesn't it have any charge when I leave it charging all day at work from a phone charger that can charge an entire phone battery in, like, less than an hour? Right? The only thing that I can think of 
is that perhaps the, uh, the circuitry inside the the light for charging enforces some sort of trickle charge. Why did that hurt me so much? It's not supposed to hurt. Nah. Not, not dealing with that. Get out of here! Now, I do remember that you can um, keep hold of the gardener's key and unlock that white key there. We didn't go that route. Um, I'm going to have to get somebody to remind me in the comments what that was all about, actually, because, again, <laughs> I think I said a very long time ago that I didn't necessarily want to wiki all the knowledge of this game, but it seems like I have been doing that. So, oh, flat bridge. Round the lamp. Nice. Uh, we could go. I'm not really that interested in doing that. Um, I think we can probably beat the concierge with these grenades, especially on the, you know, buffed cooldown here. And my very good crits from stabbing things in the back, which I'm going to be able to do on the concierge, hopefully for the majority of it. The blue par. Now these are these are thingies. I don't want the thingies. I want the not thingies. I appreciate them buffing the. Hello. I appreciate them buffing the uh, the the barnacle with balloons. Get out of here, you freak! Leave me alone. And the drumstick. I forgot that that happened. I just wanted to use it. Kind of hope that there was more of a secret than that, but at least there was HP in it. If anyone could tell me what happened on Thursday, the 22nd of November, which I had to look at. I don't know when Thanksgiving is, okay? I don't care, uh, so I don't know. Um, I, I would have assumed it was the same time every year, but it's the same approximate time. I understand now that it's the Thursday, which is where Black Friday comes from. Because Black Friday is like, hey, it's nearly Christmas, so go and buy everything. Here's another thing. So Black Friday has infected the UK. Oh, it's 10 o'clock. That's why my alarm's ringing. Look, stop. I said go to bed, go to bed alarm. Uh, I just I just have that. <laughs> so I'm not going to go to bed. I'm going to go back to this teleporter and I walk all the way back here because I didn't see this. Oh, I did see this. Wait, what? Never mind. I'm a fool. That was the way into there in the first place. Yeah, plonker. Um, Black Friday has infected the UK and I say infected because it is an infection <laughs> because first of all it's an American concept which does not apply to the UK in any regard Black Friday to my understanding is the Friday after Thanksgiving which is the f like the major shopping time for Christmas because and here's what is the worst thing about it. Apparently, in America, people have not had the foresight to shop for Christmas before Thanksgiving. Apparently, it's impossible to even consider Christmas when Thanksgiving is on the calendar. It's like Thanksgiving is an opaque... Ow. Um, blockage in everybody's future sight. Like a... <laughs> Got no words for it. It's like a lead plate in front of an x-ray, you know? Apparently, it's impossible to realise that on the other side of Thanksgiving, there's going to be Christmas. So everyone goes, oh, thank goodness Thanksgiving's over. There can't be possibly anything else that's important culturally for the next, oh, year or so, right? Oh, crap. I forgot about Christmas. Let's go and buy everything that we need for the entire... Christmas concept now. <laughs> and now, of course, is Friday because Thanksgiving isn't over until the end of Thanksgiving Thursday because that's when you have your Thanksgiving meal and everyone gets together. It's a whole family thing, right? And then there's another whole family thing a month later. One month and three days after, well, this particular Thanksgiving, if I am correct in my surmising, Thanksgiving is the nth Thursday of whatever. Is that our dog woofing? Yeah, shut up, dog. The nth Thursday of whatever or whenever or who even cares, right? Oh, we come to the end. Good. So, there's basically four weeks and then it's Christmas Day. I don't care. <laughs> it's not my culture. I'm not Thanksgiving-ing. 
so one month after everybody's got together to eat a giant turkey in giving thanks to the fact that we stole the native I say we um, the native people's tracks everything there. I don't want to unlock it <laughs> put something in something else um, you know food which was turkey We didn't actually get a better ranged item, which is annoying. This would have been a good time to have one cell remaining in something that I now want. Bleeding. Let's reforge this. Poisoned. Can we make them burning? Yes, thank you. Um, it's not going to help for now, of course. None of this is going to help for now, so we will take the melee. <sighs> anyway. It's infected us because, I say infected, because first of all, nothing to do with us. We can think about Christmas. We can even think about it before Halloween if we want to, because we're not actually obsessed with any of these things, although it's happening more and more because of Hollywood bullshit, but you get my point here. Can you stand still, please? I'm trying to stab you in the back. I'm just going to be quiet for a minute while I... Ooh, that was bad. Figure this out. Get out of here. Oh, right. That's that one. My mistake. Just keep doing this. Good. I don't know how many times I get to do this before it puts the shield up, you see. But he always manages to stun me with that shield. Because I'm bad. At like this game. So I shouldn't play. Have this. Um, anyway. Infected with American... I don't want to call it nonsense. I mean, the holiday has been part of American culture for a very long time. But at the same time... What are you doing? <laughs> Stop. Stop giving thanks to... For a situation that you had no control over and that you really should be embarrassed by. You know, it's not Thanksgiving, it's Embarrassment Day. It's National Weren't We Dicks Day. You know, that's like having a day when... It's like it's celebrating Concentration Camp Day or something. Imagine imagine Germany celebrating anything that happened under Hitler's regime. And I know I've violated the fundamental rule of the internet where any argument that ends up talking about Hitler, you immediately lose. But look, it is basically the same thing. Honestly, we are talking about genocide here. You know, can you stop... Um, trapping me in that situation. We should also bleed this fucker. Get some dots on him. Maybe I should stop using swear words. <laughs> right, you can't roll through that, so don't try. Get on the other side! Oh, good. I'm pretty sure I can beat the concierge, but I'm not 100% convinced anymore, because this is hard. Ow. As it gets more frantic, I get less and less capable of dealing with it. There we go. I might just use my grenades until it's dead. Because this one is doing a decent amount of damage all on its own. Um, I guess my question is... Why, why do we need Black Friday? And why can't you just think about Christmas earlier on? Now, I understand that Black Friday is a marketing gimmick invented by some entrepre enterprising entrepreneur who went, wait a minute, everyone's spending all their money on Black Friday because they're too bloody thick to spend their money before Black Friday. But then, and I, don't get me wrong, I appreciate the fact that everything's on sale. But it doesn't have to be because the Americans think it should be. Ow. This uh, grenade tactics is actually working really well, simply because my grenade cooldown is so low. This doesn't have any more shields. That's the worst bit. I think it runs out of shields, so... As you... Uh, as you fight it, it does that um, stun thing, but for the first few times, it can also shield at the same time. Yes, that was nice. 
Actually, not using my melee was the best idea I'd ever had, and you can see why I wanted, this is a good example, uh, a bow. This would have been fine up front, actually. And this bow, even though it's not my favourite bow, it's going to be more useful. Oh, did you hear my knee crack? It's going to be more useful than the... Um, than the... Uh, poisons. Do we have poison? No. Uh, than, than the blood... The, yeah, the blood sword. Toxic cloud. Yeah. Sure. We only need to reforge these things once, necessarily. Also, you. What have you got for me? We might want to start doing that. But for now, I think we're going to keep putting money into the collector. It's been a while since we even got past the concierge, which is kind of embarrassing. <laughs> but there you go. Um, also, is that chap, that upgrade thing, is that not the one that you used to have to break down the um, the door to get to? To, like, to have enough... Yeah, that's right. Sorry, suddenly I realised I was thirsty and I saw my bottle of... Oh no, I can go up to the... I don't really want to go up to the... Um... Drinking out of a bottle is much more satisfying than drinking out of a cup. In my opinion. It makes water worth drinking. Why am I killing you? I appreciate all this fire. This is actually a really, really good synergy. That is a time door that I cannot open. I didn't even consider to see... How fast I would have had to go. Appreciate in all of the extra DPS I'm doing right now. From external sources is what I really mean there. I.e. the fire from the, s from the enemies dying sort of thing. Uh, plus the fact that I've actually got a, a weapon I can deal with right now. These are the backstabby one. How are you not dead? Did they actually take fall damage? Is that what we're talking about here? I didn't realise. I mean, I know things have been dying when they fall off the edge, but is it literally because of fall damage? Here you go. Oh, I've got this now. Again, more exter Ooh! external sources damage just really, really helping out. With the uh, poison there, just ending those enemies without me having to worry about it. And if I just shoot an arrow every now and then, which I'm much more likely to do, because having a, a ranged and a melee weapon is so much more natural to use the ranged weapon at appropriate times than it ever was to use the right melee weapon in the right situation. Because I honestly, I don't think there is a right melee weapon for each situation. I know I keep saying melee and then melee, you know, it's just an, there's a hat over the E and there's a hat over the E and then, you know... It's correctly, it's melee, but, you know, people influence me for the worse and make me pronounce words bad and grammar wrong. Wait, that one was more right. Um, ouch, I guess. Those captains are still being a bother. I'm sorry to say that I am still incapable of fighting those pirate captains and that will always be true, much like I am terrible at platforming, which will always be true. So just deal with it, I guess. Also, thank you for not giving me the endless bloody um, flipping heckin I, I want better grenades don't get me wrong but I don't want something that's a huge cooldown like that when I could have something with narrier cooldown like my grenades currently do I thought I was out of the way of that but I wasn't so there you go um, yeah everything's good it's fine just keep going is this better yes but uh, no. Actually. I know I could buy it and upgrade it. But honestly, I'm content. Why is that there? That's like the least useful teleport back to entrance. Um, help. Yeah, I'd like a better grenade because my grenades don't really... I want a nice grenade, okay? Wow! That doesn't hurt. What are you doing? I was far away from that. I contend. I contest. Contraband. Another statue of the king, accompanied by a guard. A very big one at that. A little too big, maybe? A little too big, maybe. So go in here. Fine. Let's go in here. Now we're in uh, uncharted waters because it's been a long time since I was last here. 
I appreciate the arrow hitting is what causes the uh, fire there rather than the enemy dying. Not the fire, the, um, the, the poison. Little poison cloud when the arrow hit, which is kind of what I anticipated, which is why I stopped on that mutation, that uh, reforged modifier, because I figured a little bit of extra DPS from actually just simply the act of hitting something with my bow would be very welcome, I think. So it turned out to have been. Nice, good jobs. Good dodging. And the fire just ends those. So if you can kill the thing that spawns them with the fire, it's job done. You're sorted. This is turning into be a very good episode, so it's going to be a bit longer than previous episodes, which is kind of the point. In fact, you probably looked at the timestamp of the episode and went, hey, he might actually win this one. Or he might actually do at least a little bit better than he has been in the past. Can you not bite? Biters. Bite and no biting. Get out of here. Ooh. This is fine. And then you die, and then you let that explode, and then you go past. There you go. You're learning. Good job. My back's starting to hurt from sitting at this computer. The problem is, uh, I'm sitting at the computer basically properly, but my, my stature is not used to sitting properly in any situation. Don't forget to shoot. There you go. Don't forget you can shoot. Spend all your life wishing for a ranged weapon. When you finally get it, what do you do? You ignore it. You bifter. Don't know what a bifter is. I know what a bifkin's bridge is. Let's uh, talk about that a little bit. That's not. Um, you can look it up if you want. Alright, it's your taint. I don't know why. Don't ask. Look, English doesn't make sense. Especially English from England. Because that is the worst type of English. Because we say the strangest things. I mean, we've, we've waffed on about idioms. Idiomata in the past, but... Do we want to go that way? I don't know. Sure. Let's get out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Let's explore the rest of the level, but we've... You know... Alia Yakta Est. We are now going that way, come what may. I really want to go down there, particularly. That was just... <laughs> what am I doing? Just going to keep putting it in red, unless I can't. Which I think is just, like, general purpose, how you do it, right? Put it in red unless you can't. Which I think is going to get us further. Further than we've ever gotten before. No, maybe not that far. I mean, I'd like to say so. But... Yeah, it does do some damage, even if they're not going to die. Is this way down there? It's just a weird background thingy. There's a chest, so it's a good thing we did come this way. I'm not going to... I'm aware that the um, there's been a, a, a what you might call a nerf to the breaking of the doors. We've seen that already. The curse that you get for breaking a door is considerably worse than it used to be. It used to be the same as opening a chest. But what I don't know is whether the curse for opening a cursed chest is the same as it used to be as well, or whether they've both gone up to 30, which is ridiculous and not something that I can deal with as a uh, an inept player. Okay, so I'm not gonna. Nice. Doing it right. This is correct behavior for a, a player of game. No! See, I rolled and then he started attacking, which is just what happens to me all the time, and I really need to start paying attention to the fact that if I'm rolling, it may not be the best thing to do in the world. Ever. I don't even know what the other one was. I didn't look. I didn't care. I've got a better grenade that I'm already using. Prodigiously, so we are happy with that. Have. There you go. Eat it. We have the weirdest things in this language. I was thinking about it the other day because in America you tend to get. You hear about. Um, I started the sentence like yeah, I'm going to talk about some school shooting or something. Not, not where I was going. <laughs> Um, you hear about people in the States having, like, competitions about whether they can tell which things in English, which English words are real, <laughs> and which ones are made up. Um, 
I mean, we do have the weirdest thing. Like, what was the... An Oggy. I still haven't figured out what an Oggy is. I think it's a Welsh thing. Is that what it said? Oggy? Something like that. It was in Wales. Is it a Welsh Oggy? Like, what the blue blaze is, is a Welsh Oggy. Even what the blue blaze is, no one... What are you talking about? Who says that? This way is the exit. I see it. It's right here. The blue plate, sacre bleu. I mean, uh, even the French have a, a blue-based sort of exclamation. But uh, what? <laughs> the blue blazes? Do you have blue blazes? Forgotten sepulchre? No! I forgot which way was which, okay. But we're still going. 35 minute video. Still talking, still got things to say. I'm going to put money in this so that we can... If we are again stuck for a ranged weapon in future, uh, we did this, didn't we? Upgrade to plus and toxic cloud is fine. Damage to a bleeding target, but we don't have a bleeder. I'll reforge it again. That's good. So if anything dies in the vicinity, we suddenly have a huge DPS bonus on that grenade, which cools down really quickly. Happy with that. I say anything dies, I mean we kill anything with our sword. Last time we were in a Forgotten Sepulchre. Let me try again without slurring my words. Last time we were in the Forgotten Sepulchre. I got overwhelmed by and Basically got stunlocked. Okay, so... Ooh, really? Um, I got stunlocked in the Forgotten Sepulchre, which is no good. We don't like that. But... Um, I want to say it's fine. It means that we were not dying because we're bad at the Forgotten Sepulchre. It means we're dying because we're bad at the game. Which is normal. <laughs> That's what we're doing. And stun locking is something that does happen to me on the odd occasion anyway. So there's no other teleporters. So quite sure what that's for. There's 25, um, 25 thingies just there, by the way. So that's really cool. Already got three more scrolls. So our... Brutality. Is, well, our DPS is insane. The only thing is that we are aware that this does mean that enemies get stronger as well. So we have to be careful that we don't end up in a melee that we can't deal with. Like that. And we also need to make sure we can get back wherever we're going to a light source, which this one is going to be up here. Get back. Good. I really hate that these things are allowed to shoot through the walls, okay? I honestly... Nerf. Plus. Because maybe... Okay, let me put it a different way. They can shoot through the walls. That's kind of okay. It's not my problem. The problem is that they can see me through the walls and then start shooting me. If they couldn't shoot through the walls until they'd seen me, I'd be a lot less salty. But the fact is, I'm trying to beat up one buttload of enemies that are doing my head in. And these things are just sort of sniping me like, you know, spawn camp labors. Where's the next thingy, please? <gasps> and now I'm at half HP already. <laughs> because of it. Uh, oh, I was going to say there's nothing here, but there is something here. What are you doing? What's happening in the background here? There's a dog at my feet. Why is there a dog? Why is Ken sniggering? Hi Kenzie, do you want to be on a video? You made me pause. Just really There's a puppy in my room. It's not my room. There's a puppy in there. Hi. Hello. Still going. I'm not dead yet. 40 minutes. Ooh. I wish there was a quick way back. Downstairs. What's downstairs? A quick way back. Huh? You, you, you're making no sense. Stop it, you're talking. Wait, I should have taken that teleporter. Yes, I should. Let's go back to that teleporter and not die from the Vashtan Narada. Haunt these hallways. And we will go back. That was a big, long dead end. Can't see what you're eating. Cat toy. Cat toy. She can eat a cat toy because there's no cat. Actually, some people were saying that cat toys are pretty good for dogs because they're exciting and interesting. Yep. I love it, a lot of dogs prefer cat toys. Talk about marketing. You want to have a little discussion about how the economy works? Dogs prefer cat toys and no one's going. These are also dog toys. Okay, bye. It's a powerful grenade VI. Do I need that? I guess I could. 646 damage. 
Burning out. Yeah, let's buy it. We're not using our money for anything else. We get a small refund from that. Okay, bye. Yeah, they're gone. Right, you can get back to talking about them now because they're not here anymore. Uh, we'll move on. I don't know what I was talking about before Kenzie interrupted. She didn't interrupt with any noise, so... Like... I... I can't even prove that she was here. You know, that seems a little bit... It's pointing a dog, right? Come fight me, losers. Cowards. I really need to... Oh, that was bad. We need to start using that, um... Bow. Because, as I mentioned, the fact that the actual arrow hurts the, the bad dude. This could be... It's not better. <laughs> it's just not better. That's the other one I was talking about, by the way. The twin daggers. I, was, I kept mixing up the assassin's blade and the twin daggers and coming up with the assassin's blade in my head and stuff like that. It's not right. I am not getting as much uh, light as I would like to when I get into the light. Yep, yeah, because we have a colourless bow, this is actually perfect. Give me this. Stab this. Zap this. I'd like to fight in the light where possible, please. And I'm also going to prodigiously use these grenades that have a, an amazing cooldown. Phew! I'm happy with this run, actually. The... So many of these scrolls have been enabling me to get brutality now up to 16. But enough of them have not allowed that, that I've also got a decent amount of HP. Could be more HP, I grant you. I've only got 3,000. And um, you, you want to have more than that. I'm actually tempted to start investing in HP when I don't have to. Um, the cooldowns on our grenades is insanely small, which means... I mean, it was small enough that we basically used them exclusively to beat the... Uh, the concierge which is not normal <laughs> normally you have to use some scummy tactics of mixing up traps and things to, to get it to be in a position where you can actually do your crits like you might prefer to there's a kebab there no you're gonna try get out of here where's that kebab where my kebab? Do you know what? I'm going to leave it there because we don't need that much HP just now. We're going to run and hope for the best. Oh, I kind of hope that would stun you, to be fair. Whew. That's okay. Small amount of damage. Uh, but probably about the time to go and get the kebab, actually. All this jumping um, puzzles, basically, I just need to be better at learning when I need to jump. Uh, I can do a small jump. I think they're all the same size, actually. Powerful grenade VI. These are not good enough, and I'm not prepared to reroll. That person gets his own torch. I, I recognise that I could have sacrificed one of my items to take a torch through this level, but honestly, this bow has been good enough, often enough, that I think it's the right thing to have it. Even though I'm not using it necessarily to the best use that it could have, I think think that having it, the amount of use it has had when I've remembered to use it has been so good that it's kind of made up for the fact that I keep forgetting to use it, basically. Ow. So I've learned something, which is that when you throw a grenade, you lose the ability to roll temporarily. Yep. Deserve that. Trying to be cocky. Just don't, don't try and be cocky. You've got the... You have the basics down. I think that's the problem. I have the ability to do this correctly, but I'm trying to be cocky by using grenades and another magic when, really? Stop doing that. You know, put yourself in the right position. Aggro the enemy. Dodge the enemy. Etc. Right? Write the theme tune. Sing the theme tune. Cannot remember what I was talking about before. I think I covered the bike thing ad nauseum, so you don't need to worry about that anymore. Um, so what's next? I don't know. Well, you see, what I was think. One of the things that I was thinking about on my bike was that it, it was about music and specifically licensing because James recently showed me a um, a new 
Creative Commons Music Creator. Which is great, because there's one that I forget the name of all the time. A oh, kebab. Very nice. Um, whose music you'll hear all over the internet, because being Creative Commons is CC by attribution. So all you have to do is acknowledge that you have used his music somewhere. You credit him, basically. And then you're golden. You can use it. Thank you. And then... Oh, that nearly didn't work. Do I want to go in here? That's a good question. Is there something for me to unlock down there? I think we can probably beat it. But I think there might not be. I think we can beat it simply because our grenades are so good that we don't need to worry about it. Yeah. I am the best at this. So now we've got two crypt keys. Not to be confused with crypt key, which is merely that character from the Big Bang Theory and probably somebody else because most of those characters apparently were named after real scientists. So I don't know which scientist Barry Kripke was named after, but it is probably somebody called Kripke. We're going to leave. We have completed the Forgotten Support Cree and I am going to take the take the victory. Thank you very much. It's half past ten. I'm kind of flagging. Um, I, I try to be in bed by half past ten, mostly because I have to get the dog up at, um, like half past seven in the morning why don't you i'm trying to put these in fast but it's not letting me uh i get up at half past seven to eight o'clock basically to get the dog out of the crate so that she doesn't piss herself <laughs> apologies for being crass so make this a plus frozen and burning burning burn yeah these are all good i'm happy with this um so I try to be in bed by half past ten. I don't necessarily go to sleep at half past ten, but I like to be in bed at half past ten because then we have just some chill out time. I don't have to be staring at a screen or anything. The clock room. This battle I honestly do prefer to have traps for. So I'm going to do my best. But I might just continue to use... Uh, yeah, that was bad. Nice. Try it. I didn't roll far enough. Unheard of. I rolled. Get out of it. I don't know this patterns. So we're probably not going to make it through this simply because I don't know how. But uh, I'm going to apologise up front because I've done my best already. Um, but yeah, I, I don't have the... Uh, I don't have what I'd like, which is knowledge of this fight to a significant degree. Roll. Just, just keep chucking grenades at the bastard. Yeah. No chance. Look. I uh, I keep telling you how much I like ice. I didn't get any ice. Maybe I did get some ice, but I was so in this fire mind, which is an item in Isaac that you should always take. Except don't, because it's dangerous. Um, but I, I didn't want to pivot onto ice, but we should have. And also, I did not have enough HP. So I think I learned this a long time ago and forgot. Don't go so hard on... You, you don't need 15 red by the clock tower, okay? Mm. You can you can probably get away with 10 and have some more in something that's giving you way more HP to get through things like that. And it looks like we're going to have another run with a uh, fire and a double crossbow until we get it all changed over again. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope that you will join me in the next episode for some more random waffling about anything that comes to mind. And feel free to leave some comments on... Uh, look, just say stuff. Talk to me. Uh, especially give me some hints, some clues. Let's get a little bit further in this game next time because we nearly did so much better this time. <sighs> and I hope that you will leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already and share with your friends if you haven't already because people need to see this, man. This is gold. So until next time, thank you for watching and I will see you.